So it is Boxing Day and I'm wrecked. Like, <sighs> yesterday was a lot, but it was great. Like, we had all the food and the people. Um, it was a small amount of people, nothing like too extreme, just some people that, you know, we really get along with and we really enjoy catching up with. Um, yeah, so... It was great. Um, I didn't actually eat that much though. Like the food, don't get me wrong. The food was everything. Um, my um, partner's mum made a cheesecake. It was, I actually had some for breakfast this morning. So, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, actually I'll put it up here. I'm in my son's room at the moment because there's, look, everyone's home. There's so much noise and I, I'm not good at blogging, okay? I'm never going to be good at blogging, but I thought I'd put like a little something, something up. Um, so yeah, yesterday, yesterday was everything it was supposed to be. Um, it was really nice and um, I think that's what we needed, you know, we, we needed family, we needed just good food, laughs um, and, and just easy going. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, like I have no spoons left. Um, I've used two days worth of spoons in one day. I am exhausted, um, but also really happy. I mean, okay, I've got like a week's worth of cleaning to do in my house now, but look, it, it, it was definitely worth it. And um, if any of the family that are watching this now came, please know I loved everything and I hope that we can do it again next year. And um, yeah, so, um, presents what did you guys get I got <laughs> way more than I thought I was going to get so I ended up getting um the family brought me these um RGB little light things which um I've been wanting because my background's always like really really dark and don't get me wrong I, I really do enjoy um having my um horror theme stuff in the background but I don't know I just wanted something a little bit better so with this little bad boy um I can add light so uh I haven't quite worked out how to use it properly yet but I do have I think I've got blue if you can see so I can change that to all different colors put it in my background illuminate it um yes uh even white light just natural white light whatever but I'm looking forward to that and I've got two of these now so um I got two yesterday and I got some tripods to put it on which actually um, I think the intention was the tripods to put this on, but I'm actually using the tripod right now to hold the camera. Like I'm sitting on the ground guys. And my other tripod is this big colossal dinosaur of a thing. And it doesn't go as low as this. So I'm actually using the tripod that I got yesterday to hold these guys for that. So that is, that's a definite bonus there. Um, and then I got this, um, necklace, I think, um, uh, my mother-in-law may have gone to like a craft market or something like that and um, yeah I got this absolutely gorgeous necklace I'll put a picture up here and it's got um, I think it's got a lava stone in it at the moment which I really really love that but she got me four other gemstones that I can put in it as well but to be honest with you I really do like the lava stone so um, I'm probably not gonna change that and they also got me this absolutely stunning um, journal because I'm a journal user I absolutely love them and I've been wanting one of these for a long time couldn't find one anywhere or like I couldn't justify the cost for myself right but I've got that now and that was gorgeous and I got a calendar and a new fry pan set which is great because the other one was like on its way out um what else I ended up getting myself that um that face palette from NARS and I'm still sort of playing with that a bit at the moment. They they really do all pull really pink on me, so I've gotta work out, I gotta figure it out. Um and I got myself the two dresses from City Chic and or Chic, whatever people call it. I don't really care. Um they I love actually I'm wearing one today. I love this thing. Um <laughs> the other one I love too, but it's a little bit long. Um and I, I keep getting worried I'm going to jam it in the car door and it's going to be flapping in the wind. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I made my pineapple jam ham. Um, I've actually got a little um, video. Actually, I might play in a minute for you guys. I didn't record making the jam, not really, not like the first prepping. And I didn't record slicing it up and I don't even think I have any photos 
of it served up on plates, but just know it is, it is the bomb. It is one of my best dishes ever, I have to say. I love eating it the next day. Like, once it's been sitting in those juices, oh my gosh. Mmm. I'm going to have some a little bit later, but I'm just not feeling. I'm just so tired. Um, yeah. So what else? What else? We've got New Year's coming. We don't tend to do a lot for New Year's because we have kids. Um, but I think I might actually have a gaming night with the kids. I reckon we might pull the table out and play some poker. Um, or maybe some Cards Against Humanities. But I actually want to go out and pick up... Um, what is it called? It's a game that the kids have been asking me to get. I think it's called um, What Do You Meme? Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about picking up um, an edition of that. Yeah, I think we might just have a games night on New Year's, to be honest with you. And it is um, mine and my partner's sort of like anniversary, like the, you know, I guess <laughs> when we first sort of decided that we were in a relationship sort of thing. Um, I don't know. It's not really that big of a like big deal. We don't make that big of a deal out of it. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to keep it low key for, for New Year's. Um, yeah, we've got all the kids home. So yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I really would like to know what you got because I'm a snoop. I want to know what everybody got. So um, yeah. Yeah. Hit me down below, guys, or if you don't want to talk to me on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'm also Instagram or YouTube, to be honest with you, but hey, whatever. I don't care. And, um, yeah, I might pop back in a little bit later with some more stuff. I don't know. Um, we did also do um, Alf on the Shelf this year. He uh, Most of the days he moved, so... But there are some days actually you know what I might actually put up a feed up here a reel of some of the um shenanigans that Naughty Nigel that's our elf's name Naughty Nigel got up to this year and um we'll go from there um I don't know what else to show you so hmm anyway I'm gonna leave it there and may pop back in we'll see I don't know maybe I'll edit this out who knows until then um, I look forward to catching you guys in my next video I'm not sure what that is it's probably gonna be my empties to be honest with you but then again I don't know um, and I will catch you probably in the new year all right guys hopefully you hear me loud and clear because I am not used to doing a voiceover So I thought I'd show you guys how I actually prep my pineapple jam ham. Um, it's it's actually really tedious. You've got to try and get the layer of rind off or skin off, making sure that you leave the fat there. Um, don't worry, as I said, my hands are clean. Um, but yeah, you don't want to lift off that layer of fat because it's really, really important to sticking the jam on later. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really, really important. Um, I was obviously getting a little bit frustrated here because uh, it is slippery. Um, getting started is probably the worst part, I reckon, and the sides always get caught. Most of the time you don't need the knife, but this one was being particularly difficult. So most of the time you could just slide your fingers under there and just do a little massage motion and uh, the rind would just really, really lift right off. Yeah, we are getting there. This next part is probably the easiest and the most satisfying. You don't have to do this bit, um, I just like to do it, I don't like to leave the rind on. Um, most people will actually put foil around the um, bone, I still do even though I take the rind off. Now we're going to do a little bit of the jam. So now we're going to pack some brown sugar on the ham. Um, doesn't matter if any of it falls off and if you're wondering that is my son's blood sugar levels on my watch, uh, yeah so let's move on. So we need to pack it on pretty firmly. Um, as I said, it doesn't matter if a little bit falls off. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just want to, you know, 
get that in there. It seems like a lot of sugar, but at the end of the day, most of it ends up dissolving into it. There's a lot of meat there. Um, and when we do finally slice up this um, ham really, really thin, it is going to be submerged in all those juices that are left over, which really isn't that much. Right, just make sure that you pat it on the front as well. There we go, just a little bit. All right, time to put that jam on. Now, you are going to have some slide off. I do like it to be a little bit thicker than what it is, but it is what it is, and um, yeah, as I said, don't stress, just do your best, stick it on as much as you can, press down, let some of those like looser juices maybe come out and just press down. Um, and then when you finish doing this, slam it in the oven for an hour and a half on 180 degrees, and um, Bob's your uncle. This is definitely delicious guys and it's a once a year kind of event for us so please enjoy. Alright guys, I'm not sure if I said it in any of my other videos but most of the stuff that I upload that isn't makeup is Instagram. So here are some Instagram stories. This is our new Christmas tree. We think it's absolutely beautiful. The kids decorated it and our new star. Absolutely love it. This is some crap that I got from Kmart to help for Christmas Day. I think we're absolutely fantastic. Up oh, and some earrings that I brought. These were so freaking cute and they're only five dollars. I love these. And these dresses I got from City Chick. These made me feel amazing, guys. I love these. I want to get some more. Um, maybe on Boxing Day sales. Who knows? But they're cute. Anyway, we are about to prepare the jam. I know you've already seen me cooking the jam, but look, to prepare the jam, it literally is just crushed pineapple and syrup and brown sugar. So if you want the recipe, I'll have everything listed down below. And there we go, that's what it's gonna look like. We just need to wait for that to cool down. That is pineapple jam, guys. And it's gonna go on top of that when it's cooled down. Yes. But you gotta be real careful not to take this layer of fat off the skin, off the meat, sorry. So generally you will start by slicing away and you can just get a real sharp knife like this one and just fill it oh one of my christmas presents i absolutely love this i can't wait to use it you guys will see it in future videos hopefully if i can get it right so we have leftovers this beautiful cheesecake and the raspberry coolie that i made and some little whipped cream i am actually going to have this for breakfast don't tell anyone it's not my typical sort of thing i actually really didn't eat that much last night i was so freaking busy but i am so excited for this and i know it tastes great because i had a little mouthful last night and it's very 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 moorish it's sweet it's tart it's creamy it's everything that you want Welcome to Naughty Nigel's Adventures. This is our Elf on the Shelf, and I thought you might enjoy what we did this year. We did skip a few years, so this is Naughty Nigel with the floor is lava. This is what we did on day one. This is day two. I thought this was kind of cute. I found this one online. Um, I forgot, so I just quickly stuffed him there with a drink. <laughs> oh, this was cute, I thought. I was really struggling for ideas. This, this is another one that I saw online. Um, I wanted to use flour, but I didn't want to get him dirty. 
If you're seeing all the lyrics on here, it's because I did have music attached to all of them. Corresponding music, so yeah. We ran out of ideas. This one I thought was cute. Don't mind the tape though. <laughs> this one my partner did. It was a little bit more on the gory side. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess Naughty Nigel got him back with the toes. I forgot, so he just decided to hang around. I couldn't think of anything creative. This one is him doing the floss. Um, that was an epic fail. <laughs> uh, things got a little bit gorier. Um, what do you do? Yeah, just another quick one. <laughs> this was one of my favourites. Oh my god. I think I've done this two years in a row now. This was another bored one. I think one of the kids did this one, the older kids that is. Um, this was definitely an older kid one. I'd forgotten, so <laughs> not bad. And this was his last one. Now we did miss like four days this year. Whoops. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's pretty evident by my editing of this video that um and what's in it that i'm very not good very not good i'm not good at vlogging okay um <laughs> i thought it'd be fun it's a lot harder than it looks yes i'm holding the camera that's why we're all shaking apologies um yeah i don't know i just thought it'd be nice to share a few things on the day i hope that you guys had a very good and safe christmas um yeah ours was nice and um I don't think I'm going to do any more vlogging style things. I don't think vlogging is my thing. I'm not good at it. Like I'm not, I'm not good at pausing and recording and, um, yeah, but I did enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed our Naughty Nigel, um, series there. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. <sighs> I'm running out of ideas though. So, um, a lot of those were really tame in comparison to what they were the first couple of years that we did it. So I'm going to have to put some more effort into it next year, I think, because we do enjoy it, but... Um, yeah, it's just, I need fresh ideas without having to borrow them from other people online. But anyway, we'll have to utilize some of, um, the five-year-old's toys. But anywho, um, you got any questions, leave me a message below and I'll, um, I'll get back to you. The recipe for that ham is going to be below. If there's anything else that you want the recipe for, um, the raspberry coolie is very, very easy to make. Um, I know I didn't really show you the raspberry coolie, but it's freaking delicious. It's delicious on pavlova. It's delicious on cheesecake. It's just, it's fantastic. You could pour that shit on ice cream, okay? It's delicious. So if you want that recipe, I'll put it down below. It's a very, very simple one. Um, yeah, I don't know what else, I don't know what else to tell you. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, what little of it there was, um, and the noise in the background, obviously, I can't help that sometimes. Even with my brand new boom, um, microphone, sometimes I just, I'm not, I'm not techy enough to be able to use my, um, my programs to cut most of that out without ruin, ruining the integrity of my own voice. So there's that, um. That'll, that'll come later on down the line. I'll, I'll, I've got to work on that. Look, I've got all school holidays now with kids driving me crazy up the walls. Maybe I'll get distracted and start learning how to use my programs just a little bit better. But anyway, guys, I really do hope you have a safe New Year's now. We're on to New Year's. That will be my anniversary. Um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I told you in my other video. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have a game night with the kids. I think that'll be really, really fun. I'm probably going to have three to four teenagers um home whew, for the next four or five weeks uh and a five-year-old um five-year-old he keeps to himself he does his own thing so um but yeah i mean he's smart enough to join into the gaming if he wanted to anyway so i think we might play a little bit of poker we might play a little bit of cards against humanity we might if i can get a hold of it we might play a little bit of um <clears throat> a game called what do you mean i really want to get a hold of that but like i want the barely safe for work edition um and i'm having trouble finding that at the moment so i I, di I didn't want to get it in case one of the family members brought it for the kids because it was one of the um, suggestions there, but it didn't happen, which is cool. But like now it's almost impossible to find again. So I might have to um, slip down to a store that sells those types of um, card games and um, so maybe I've got some luck there. So anyway, I'm going to leave this as it is because I'm starting to croak up. I'm so tired. 
it is the day after Boxing Day and I am still fatigued. So um, <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, this is not the kind of video that I typically do. Um, I definitely couldn't do vlogmas. Like I couldn't, I couldn't vlog every bloody day. I think I would just go nuts. It's just, it's not a me thing. So um, yeah, but as I said, if you're new to my channel, I typically do um, uh, like reviews on beauty products and all that sort of stuff. I'm not like a beauty artist or anything. I mean, obviously, if you if you go watch any of my other videos, I'm actually pretty crap at makeup. <laughs> but I'm learning um, and I'm enjoying testing these products for you guys and letting you know my feels. Um, and uh, I hope you catch me in my next video. My next video, I think I already told you guys before, but is probably going to be an empties. So... Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because I'm babbling on. Take it easy. Bye.